In this video, we're going to do a, our first real example of adding algebraic fractions. Here are the two fractions we're going to add. And the step one, of course, is to find the lowest common denominator. And remember, in the first two videos on adding algebraic fraction, I told you how to do that. You look at the coefficients first, and the lowest common denominator of 2 and 4 is 4. And then you look in both of these uh, denominators and see what variables are present. And x and y are present. And then you take them to the highest power they occur. Of course, the highest power for x is squared, and the highest power for y is to the third power. And that's our lowest common denominator. The next part is what I call the setup, or step two is the setup. And what I do is I take the 3 on top, and I bring it out front. I take the negative 1, and I bring it out front. And I keep, of course, on this one is a positive implied sign. And this one was a negative sign, so I keep the signs. And then I have three blank spaces here, here and here. And in these blank spaces, uh, I put in the lowest common denominator. There it is. Uh, and when I do that, then uh, things will reduce. These fractions will reduce quite a bit, and the denominators will be 1. And so uh, there's a lot of simplification to do. So the first thing I do is I reduce those fractions. And when I do that, here it is. Again, I get, of course, the uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times. x squareds cancel, and I leave have y left over, y squared left over when I cancel the y's. And here, uh, the 4 cancels. One of the x cancels here and leaves me an x, and the y cubes cancel. And I end up with this expression here. Uh, then I have a little bit more simplification to do. I multiply through. And uh, and I look for, uh, when I get to this point, I say, well, can I reduce this fraction at all? I can't. I can't factor anything out to cancel with the bottom. So I'm done. And this is my answer.